And now we turn you over to our colleague Boyet Season with an exclusive interview. Mga kaibigan, ladies and gentlemen, we are very, very fortunate to have on this edition of Round by Round one of the first, if not the first, female Hall of Famer to the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Mga kaibigan, Christy Salters Martin. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate um, you being with me today and giving me the opportunity. Christy, uh, my first question uh, is something which uh, not many people know, but uh, you are actually a graduate with honors from Concord College. But what made you get into boxing? You know, that's one of the best questions that anyone could ask because I asked myself that question. Why did I think boxing was a good thing for me to try? Um, but for some reason, I, I wanted the, uh, the challenge, the competition. I, I just, I, I loved it. Once, once I did the Tough Man contest the first time, I was hooked and I, I really wanted to learn how to box. For a lot of people that uh, are not familiar with your career, uh, you came into boxing at the time wherein female boxers were not really uh, that accepted as far as the sport is concerned. You getting into boxing, how was the landscape at the time you get, you got in? Oh, it was, it was very tough. I mean, um, tough from all aspects. To find opponents was hard. To find a promoter that was willing to, to give me an opportunity to fight on the show was hard. To sell tickets, to be accepted by the fans. It, it was all a uh, challenge, but I, I feel like with each challenge, I would just step up my game just a little, a little bit more, push a little harder, and get a little more acceptance each time out. You know, ladies and gentlemen, if you get the chance to go on YouTube and watch uh, Christie's fights uh, on YouTube, you'll be, you'll be very amazed as to how this woman would really just go and let it all hang out. Um, uh, for the many fights that you've had, and you've fought a lot of them, uh, Christy, you fought a lot of the best. Uh, who would you consider uh, were the toughest ones? You know, they were all tough. They were all tough. And I think the very, very truth is I was my toughest opponent because I was never happy. I was always critical of everything that I did and, and wanted to do better. So I, I was always my hardest critic and probably, as I say, my toughest opponent. But um uh, and everybody brought their A-plus game when, when they fought me. Even people I would watch on video and think, oh, this should be an easier night. Um, I, I find myself in six round six, round seven, round eight, like, dang, when all of a sudden they, they get this toughness. But I was their Super Bowl. Yes, you were the Super Bowl. You were, you were at the top of the totem pole, and everybody wanted to get a piece of you. And you gave them a piece of yourself as well. Um, uh, for 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 uh, for you as a as a uh, boxer uh, that has fought uh, a lot of uh, really good female boxers as well. Did you have any opportunity to fight male boxers? No, I I I wasn't interested in that um, male versus female as an actual fight. My sparring partners were mostly men throughout my entire career. I had a sparring partner, uh, Jimmy Maloney, that sparred with me basically from the beginning to the end. And then we would just sprinkle in different people from time to time. But I, I was never interested in, in actually fighting a man. And so what? If you found a man that I was able to beat, then you want to step up and find a tougher man. And then eventually I get hurt and it, it makes no sense. I just wanted to be, I wanted to be looked at as a fighter, a good fighter, male or female, but I want to be the best female fighter. And you being uh, the best, fe one of the best female fighters landed you that, uh, that induction into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. But I'll get to that question right after I ask this. Um, did you play any other sport? I did. I played, uh, I played basketball all throughout elementary school, middle school, high school, and then a little in college as well. And then I, I played a little softball, not much, uh, but, I, but I would consider myself as an athlete, at least when I was young, maybe not today. But uh, yeah, I, I, I always loved sports and I, the, the challenge of, of winning. I wanted to win no matter what I did, if it was playing 
checkers. I wanted to win. <laughs> you, 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 you remind me of somebody who was very popular who's about to run uh, for the presidency in our country, and he likes to play uh, a lot of different <laughs> sports, and he does not also want to lose at any of them. But let, let me now move to uh, the, the Hall of Fame. Um, for, a lot of, for a lot of male boxers, uh, the Boxing Hall of Fame is... Uh, the top of the totem pole as far as platitudes and achievements are concerned. You being the first female to have that honor, how did that strike you? That's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I come from such a small town in southern West Virginia, and then to, to get the fight in Las Vegas, fight in New York, and now to be inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. I, I, a quick story. Back in 1996, I was the Grand Marshal for the weekend. And I remember telling the guys that were getting inducted that year, you know, you guys, one of these days, you're going to need a sister. And never thinking in a million years that, that I would get to be that sister. Of all the uh, fighters that gets to be uh, inducted uh, into the Boston Hall of Fame, you were chosen to be the first one. Okay. Um, now, let, let, let me ask you this. Uh, after a very illustrious career, what made you decide not to fight anymore? Well, that's a good question. You know, I, in my mind today, I wake up and I think I can still fight. But the truth is I can't. And um, I, I did have a stroke back uh, in, in uh, 2011. So I kind of put the end of my career. Uh, I tried to come back and have one more fight, lost to a bum and realized that my boxing days were done. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if I could, if I, if I hate Mentally, physically, if I physically was able to uh, to still be fighting, I, I would be like Evander and Mike Tyson and the rest of those guys still crawling in the ring, wanting wanting to uh, hear those cheers one more time. Uh, I love the sport, but at the end of at the end, then twenty uh, ten, at that time it was it was done, it was over. I was I was probably finished when Lucia Riker decided to pull out and, and not step up and fulfill her contract commitment uh, in 05. I think that fight was supposed to happen and. And that really took the, um, it took the uh, desire. I mean, I had, I had fought everybody and beaten everybody that, that I could at that time. And um, that, that kind of ended my career, actually. 